we are going to bring in an energy that will align us all to that which we are seeking to manifest. Now, when I channel, there's a we and I. If I say I, it's coming from crystal. If I say we, it's coming from spirit. It's them, it's emissaries, mine and yours. And so for this attunement, we are calling in the divine emissaries and also the partners who help me to channel and bring forth the energy most necessary for the highest vision and version of those who request their intentions and manifestations. These beings are my friends, and I would like to say Metatron, who's always over the right shoulder, Mahalo. Also the divine I am self in connection to all of the archangelic and angelic realms. Also the interdimensionals present here with me at this time. My interdimensional friends from 6th and 7th and 8th and 9th. Thank you. Spirit, I would ask that you coalesce the energy of all who are watching right now and on replay because God is non-local. God exists outside of time, so do we. Coalesce these energies into one form that stands before me. This one form represents all beings watching and participating at this time. Thank you. Spirit asks that we all agree together for where two or more are gathered, their God is in the midst of them. And so we agree to this blessing. We ask and intend for this blessing and we accept this blessing. Thank you. In agreement together, in consciousness and in energy, we agree to this together and say, yes, I agree to that. Please with your mouth. Yes, I agree to that. Thank you. Thank you. Spirit, I would ask. Because I know that you see the desires on the heart of all who watch and agree and connect. I ask for a blessing upon their requests for their lives now and moving forward into 2019, but also just into the future generally, a blessing on all of these requests. We also acknowledge that we offer these requests with the higher request that thy will be done. Spirit, from this vantage point, we all don't necessarily see as clearly as you. God, you know what is best for us. God, you know how to bring that thing to us. God, you know how to most quickly manifest that which we most need to fulfill the soul's desire in this incarnation. And we ask for that highest version of what we are asking for now through the intention for the manifestation. We offer it and together we do this. But we also ask you to bring it in the best version possible, as comfortably as possible to us as well, without too much shift, too much discomfort, too much challenge, too much pain. We ask for that which we are requesting, which will expand us and connect us and propel us to be delivered softly, kindly, and in a way we can truly delight in and enjoy. Thank you. That's just the humanity in us. And spirit recognizes that. Mahalo keakua. From my perspective, I, Crystal, what I see before me is one being. This being looks to me like a silhouette within which are many stars, and these stars are you. And as I look into this silhouette, the lights, the pinpricks of light, these stars begin to join together until this you 
which is us, is one and filled with light. And I speak into all of us. The opportunity and energy and blessing that would allow each and every one of us to reach the next level in our development, in our understanding, in our gifts and our abilities, in our financial independence, in our prosperity, in our light work, in our bravery, in our willingness, and in our awareness. I speak the energy into each and every one of you. Mahalo keakua from you to them. And now what I will do is breathe into this being. And the breath that I breathe is the attunement. It is delivered through this. And once we are finished, know that it is done. We do not question what has been given. We do not send back the order. It is done. And we can rejoice. Please allow yourself to receive this from spirit. Once again, please. Thank you. Spirit's message for all is that at this time we are fully supported. At this time we have all resources. At this time we are being asked to open our eyes and to raise them and not dwell over long on what the world projects and presents to us and what the world seeks to program into us. Do not be susceptible to this. This requires diligence, vigilance, and awareness. The awareness comes from within. Each and every one of you, and also me, we have within us a door, and this door opens to the realm of the divine, the realm of the celestial, the realm of the archangelic, the realm of the dimensions, all of them, and in particular, the higher dimensions. Within us all exists a door. It does not exist outside of us. Your door is not in me. My door is not in you. In order for you to raise your eyes, you have to go inward. You have to listen to the still, small voice within you. This is your spirit, small s, which is connected at all times to spirit, large s. And nothing in this world or any other, nor any dimension or universe, no construct, will ever sever your connection to God. And so this vigilance and diligence requires that we go within. All of your answers are there. All of the peace is right there. All of your questioning, all of the uncertainty, the way that the world looks, the way that this world seems to be in chaos, this is just an illusion. This is just a distraction from what it is that you truly are here to do and to know what that is for you you must go in do you understand you must go in you have to listen at any time that you can whenever possible you must make the space to listen and also it is time for some of us here to do the necessary work in order for channels to widen which allows for flow both ways celestial to you and you to celestial Obstacles must be removed. These obstacles 
exists within you. We call these patterns, programming, narratives, pains, abuses, things that you carry around that you have not yet relinquished. These are like boulders that you are carrying in a backpack that weigh you down. For some of us, it's time to not just release the boulders, but to let down the backpack entirely. You don't need it anymore. You haven't needed it for a while. You've relied on it because it's automatic, but spirit seeks to free you from this so that the channel can widen. You are a magical being. You are divine. Do you feel that? It's true. In order to live that though, this channel needs to be clear, and this we bring to you. If you would like this, please say yes. Say this out loud, yes, and thus it is given. And over the next period of time in the life, these things come to the surface as they must, so you can notice them. And when you notice them, bless them. Even if they present an anxiety, in worry, in anger, and fear. You don't have to be a part of that. You just have to notice that. And in noticing that, you may consciously release it. And we are here with you to allow for this to be released. It is time. You are not defined by the things that were said to you. You are not defined by the things that are happening to you. You are not defined by anything external to you. You are defined by what lies within you. Your work entirely, and it's not work, your opportunity entirely is aligning to that. And when you do, it'll be amazing to you how quickly your life arranges around this awareness. How the people arrange perfectly to support you. And those that do not, they go away. And we say, thank you. That's not bad. That's just where we are. The resources come to you in perfect timing. The construct, systems, infrastructure is given to you so you have the platform to do what you came here to do. This lies within you. That's our message for you. Thank you, Spirit. I receive this and say thank you. And if you receive that, say thank you. Is there anything else, Spirit? Yes. For those of you seeking physical healing, now is a perfect time to receive a loosening up for this. Some of you will receive immediate relief. Others will receive a loosening up, meaning breathing space, flow and movement into the condition that will allow you to, with awareness, release the energetic aspect of it. Please pay attention. To release the energetic aspect of it means you are aware of it, you love it, and you declare the release of it. Every physical issue has a correlating energetic pattern or component. We work with the energy in order to free up the physical or heal the physical. For some of you, this attunement heals you immediately because the energy will be aligned and that will have an immediate reverberating effect in the physical body. For others, again, it is the breath introduced into the space of the body and the energy. And in specific, Spirit, show me here on this being where we are focusing, where we have a need in the area generally of the mind, anxiety and depression, in the actual musculature of the body, for some, arthritic and inflammation aspects, heart issue, slow movement of the blood, circulatory, Bowel, slowness, lethargy, thyroid, hair loss, thinning, representing inflammation in the body. The loosening in the breath goes into the inflammation in the body. Feet. Is this plant? Is this the fasciitis? Is this the bone spurs? I don't know. Feet pain in the feet. 
Ears, ears. Also allergies, allergies, suffering from allergies. This can be diminished. The breath into the allergies dusts it up, brings awareness. There are alternate reasons, unconventional reasons for these allergies. The awareness comes to you if you are open to it. Back to the digestion, but abdomen, abdomen pain, constipation, bloating, inflammation, general imbalance. Just calling it out if this makes sense to you. We're just letting you know this is what is coming through. And these are the areas into which we are going to be speaking healing back up into the head, back up into the head and the spinning of the thoughts and the suicidal thoughts and the suicidal thoughts. This is a construct of the reality, 3D reality. These things are built into some degree. And so an ease is spoken into this. Breath is space is spoken into this. The quick nature of the thoughts to be slowed down. Headaches, headaches, migraines, Grief, grief, grief and loss and loneliness. All of these are the energetic aspects which correlate with the physical. The physical may not be manifested yet, but we breathe into the energy so that the physical is not disrupted. Anger, reactive anger to someone who is angry self-worth, of course, judgment of self, and feeling powerless, powerless, fearful, powerless, cannot change situation, don't believe it's possible. We're breathing life and space and awareness into this. Back into the body, cancer in the area of the reproductive, is this reproductive or abdomen? It is in the reproductive. Not for fear and more predisposition, but cells there, we see this. And extending from the auric to the grid, contained within the grid are the channels, the byways, pathways into your awareness and out from you expressed into the universe, the divine. We have some of you who have obstacles here. This means your abilities don't work as you think they ought to or as you would like them to, or they work sporadically because we have obstructions in this area of the field, which we would like to clear. And if this is you, if this responds to you, then be aware of this and accept and say yes to this so that we may breathe space and energy and activation into this area for this to open for you and consciousness to expand, understanding to expand, but also communication, fearless communication also to expand channels opening. Thank you, spirit. We will take this. Thank you. Okay. If you would like this healing, if you accept this healing from spirit, say yes. If you accept this healing for others, this may apply to say yes, that it may receive them for them to receive or reject. To him or her that believes all things are possible. The immediate healing has taken place and the miraculous has taken place. The believer has received it. Some are more slow to receive it. This is okay. It has still been given and through the acceptance of this and the intention is it received by you and the space and the breath and the opening is now there so that the healing in the energy in the grid and in the physical body can take place 
It is given. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. They wanted to have a physical healing. Thank you. Dreams and visions. Dreams and visions. Now is the time for those of us in this community, in this particular interaction, in this container of possibility. Now is the time for visions and dreams to be given to those who would receive them. These come down from higher dimensions, come through the fourth dimension, which is where we go when we dream or meditate and are given to you. And if you are prepared to prophesy, visualize, see, and understand in a greater level through dreaming or through the facility of astral occupation say yes because we offer this to you we offer this to you and this is so subtle it's it's more subtle than something like mediumship it's more subtle than something like channeling but we offer this to you should you want it say yes thank you for the gift spirit mahalo are we done we're done for now okay <laughs>